What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to another episode of WNN, your music production news source. I'm your host, Massive Announcements. Today, we'll be talking about the news. In our first story of the night, we'll be talking about how Kyle Beats took down his sandbox synth, the announcement video, as well as your ability to purchase it. It says on the website their Black Friday launch has ended. That's actually a really generous way to put it. Anyways, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Sandbox is a synth made by Kyle Beats. I actually recently reviewed it. Uh, it was pretty buggy. It had a lot of issues with it. There wasn't really a post on this community tab, but they did take down the video. So I'll just read the email here. I got this email because I purchased it, by the way. Hello everyone, this is Kyle Beats and the Two Clicks team. We understand there have been some customers having trouble with a recent plugin release, Sandbox. Sandbox was a huge project and we may have underestimated some variables when it comes to many different hardware DAWs during testing. Although we have tested this on many different systems and DAWs, it is clear we need a much larger beta group in place before going live. If you're interested in being a part of this beta group, click here to sign up. No, you have to pay me money to do so. That being said, we are fixing any bugs or crashes we found this week and we'll be pushing a new update to you, re-releasing Sandbox to the public sometime in the next week. Give it up for them. They did the right thing here, I think. If you need a refund or cancellation until then, we understand. Just message us back. Refund. Refund. Just kidding. I'm not that petty. Or am I? No, I'm not that petty. I'll just you can keep the money. But I will be canceling my subscription to it. I mean, I wasn't going to be subscribed to it anyways. I mean, unless it was like the greatest thing ever. So yeah, I think they definitely made the right move here. Uh, it was definitely not ready for release, in my opinion. It was crashing too much. Uh, there were some bugs. A lot of people were like arguing with me about the undo thing, saying, oh, not... Not a lot of plugins have undo. I don't know. Pretty much every plugin I have has an undo button on it. Like there's maybe like a handful that don't. And I'm not saying that should be the norm. I'm saying that shouldn't be the norm. There were some other issues with it too. I, I personally didn't like the way a lot of the synths sounded in it. I didn't like how if you selected a scale, it didn't light up. So you wouldn't know what scale you're playing. You couldn't export MIDI. There was a bunch of issues I had with it. If you guys want to check out my full review on that, I will link it up here if I remember to. Yeah, I'm reading you loud and clear. News. In our next story, you may have heard of Spotify wrapped. I'm not going to be talking too much about that. Well, at all, actually. Today we'll be talking about the SoundCloud playback. It's kind of like their own version of that, I believe. But it's not actually happening this year. Some random person tagged them asking about SoundCloud wrapped. SoundCloud support just commented back on their tweet instead of just making an official post. And they said, hey, unfortunately, there won't be a playback 2022 play this this year. Apologies for the inconvenience. And as you can see here, um, they got ratioed. Holy shit. They didn't really say why. Um, let's see if they posted about it on their official page. Yeah, they didn't make an official tweet about it. I think they want to keep it to like as few people seeing it as possible. At least that's the vibe I get here. And they didn't say why. A lot of people are talking about canceling their subscriptions. Yeah, people are not happy. What kind of announcement is this? Yeah, multi-million dollar company, by the way. <laughs> This is the last try I need to move to Spotify. Killing myself now, okay, thanks, bye. A lot of people talking about switching to Spotify. Maybe they're working on fixing it, we'll see. Uh, not looking good. This is a lot of backlash. Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> How, how's there so many responses to this? I'm gonna burn down SoundCloud headquarters. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that, but that is really funny. I'm going to end it now, and it's all because of this bitch-ass app. A lot of people talking about committing Sudoku here. It's time for the news. In our next story, there's a new solid-state logic interface coming. It already came, actually. So many of you may have seen this thing before here. I actually have one. I did a review on it. Basically, they released a, a version with more in and outs. This is a 12-in, 8-out USB-powered box that comes in a similar desktop format to its siblings, but is said to represent a new class of audio interface and in that it offers professional features and workflow never seen before at this price point. Highlights include the SSL design mic preamps, two high-Z instrument inputs, two headphone outputs, and 32-bit 192 kilohertz ADDA converters. So yeah, one of the things I really liked about this one is the 4K switch. It has like some, I believe, harmonic distortion. They have a 360 degree software mixer. This place hosts to the SSL control room, which offers IO metering and the facility to assign functions to the three front panel switches, monitoring options and stuff like that. Okay, oh, it's got a built-in talkback microphone. Oh, it's also got loopback too. So you can get the SSL 12 for $499. I kind of wish I waited to get an interface and just bought this one. Sweet. I just got some cash back on PayPal. What the fuck is $1? Look out behind you. It's the news. So you may have heard of Arteria's Mini Freak Synth. 
may introduce you to its software counterpart. So hardware owners can have it for free and the rest of us can't have it at all. What's the point of that? I actually don't know. So it's a six voice twin engine synth that so has tight integration with the hardware. I don't really understand the point though, because you could just make the same sounds with the hardware. So if you buy the Mini Freak, you can use this, but you could just use the Mini Freak if you wanted to. I guess it'd be easier to work with in your DAW. I mean, that kind of defeats the whole point of buying a synth that you can create sounds from, right? Yeah, I don't get the point of this. Who's this news guy? Why does he keep saying news? Do you think he's ever gonna stop saying news? In our next story, new Waves plugin, oh boy. So Waves new BB tube saturation plugin comes with beauty and beast knobs for giving your mixes a fairy tale finish. Gosh, I hate that sentence so much. This promises huge sounding tube saturation and operational simplicity. Turn up the beauty knob for delicate harmonic saturation and instant roundness, fatness, and glow. Or go for the more in-your-face distorted vibe by pushing the beast style. This also has an A and B switch that enables you to toggle between the two different tube types. It seems like Mangler if Mangler didn't suck major balls. You guys don't know major balls? Introductory price at $24, regular price $149. Is that really the regular price though? We'll never know. We will, we will literally never know. I should just change it one episode and be like, announcements. I actually got offered to do a sponsored segment with this, but the more I'm looking at it, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't, I don't know. These graphics look insane. Maybe I'll have to try it though, just cause you know, some things can look not so good and still be good. But so far, if I'm judging the book by the cover here, I don't want to read that book. I want to burn that book. So Mixing Key has a new plugin called Pilot. It comes with melodies, bass lines, and arpeggios for your music. I feel like that's kind of what their other stuff does already though, like Captain Melody and Captain Chords. So it comes with a pack of musical styles. Uh, they don't have pop, R&B, hip hop, and trap packs yet. So it seems like it's mostly house and techno stuff so far. I just don't understand the difference between this and uh, Captain Melody. We're gonna watch the video. I can't figure it out. Each plugin has a similar interface. On the left side, there's an option to choose this. I just, I genuinely hate how they have like these like space dudes. Like it just really like gives me like a unison vibe or something, but you know, 3D generated instead of 2D. Made to fit the style. For example, the M1 Loopmaster style lets you change the gap and simplify settings. I guess this seems a little more simple than uh, Captain Melody. By clicking on the left button, you can go back to older ideas and load previous melodies you've made. You mean it has an undo? Inside Pilot Plugins is powered by the award-winning Phase Plant by Kilohertz. Okay, I'm sold then. If you click on the synthesizer image, it loads a panel containing all of the records. The sounds it has in it do sound better than the ones in Captain Melody, but you can route it from Captain Melody into whatever synth you want. So it seems similar. It's just a little more simple, I guess, and with better synth sounds. Anyways, it costs $49 at launch during the Black Friday special, and it's $100 after. You know, this would be a bit better if they had more sound styles ready. I don't know how I feel about AI production. New announcements. In our last story of the night, there's a new Spitfire audio plugin. It seems like they just keep like spitting these things out. It's crazy. It's like they constantly have a new one in rotation. Uh, it's called Aperture Cassette Symphony. It's a sample library that provides the sounds of a full symphony orchestra resampled through 200 cassette players. Strings, woodwinds, brass, separated into low and high sections, 24 gigs of space. Let's see what it sounds like. This could be great or terrible. It's probably pretty good, I would say. It does give it a little more ambience. I wonder how different this would sound between just taking normal orchestral samples and then running them through tape simulator or something. Probably really similar. And I'm watching like the smallest video in the world right now. I'm like too lazy to blow it up. Looks like a nightmare. Looks like an actual fire hazard. I don't envy the person having to clean up all these fucking tapes. You can buy this for 199 pounds. I think it's just straight up 249 dollars now. Well, that's expensive. <sighs> news. Announcements. Anyways, guys, that's it for the news tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, what was your favorite thing we talked about here? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, make sure to check out my second channel, Discord, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video. Has that been like that the whole time? <sighs> this is why I shouldn't have children, guys. They just mess things up. They mess things up.